Hi everyone, I'm just here to give you a few ideas for Christmas presents and stocking fillers for sewing enthusiasts. Uh, I'm gonna, there's a separate one for knitting and crochet enthusiasts. This one's going to include a few uh, sort of needle craft things as well, uh, so tapestry and embroidery. So I'm just going to run through things, no particular order. Here goes. Our cushion panels. Uh, the front panels are three pounds each. We've got seven different um, designs to choose from. We've got the Scandi Elf. We have uh, Robin. Cockerel. Peacock. Stag. Snowman and just the last few of the bumblebee. Uh, we have the backing panels as well. Plain backing panels are three pounds. Um, we also have pattern backing panels in the bee, the peacock feather and a uh, little snowman. And they are four pounds. We have the piping cord, we have zips and there's even an online tu tutorial showing you how to make a cushion cover. Uh, right, that's those. Uh, another lovely item is our advent calendar panels. This is one I just made up very quickly. I backed it onto uh, some felt uh, and just put a, play, uh, uh, a Christmas fabric backing on the back. It's got um, a bit of interlining in the middle just to give it a little bit of padding. So the Christmas advent calendar panels, you get the advent uh, pockets to make so you can either make little pockets to string along as bunting or you can put them onto a backing like I did uh, and you also get a Christmas stocking so you can make one Christmas stocking the same on both sides or you can make two if you back it with something different so those panels are seven pounds fifty each right crafty bits and bobs we have some various cross stitch kits uh, these are from the Crafty Kit Company. There's loads of different ones to choose from. Um, these ones are mostly sea related. So we've got octopus, turtles, um, I'm just looking over to where they are. Uh, seahorses, jellyfish, that kind of thing. They come in at £16. We've got the Hawthorne Handmade. It's a local Dorset company. So some of the scenes are Dorset baits, obviously the mountains aren't but uh, some people might recognize that uh, cliff top uh, that's a cross stitch kit uh, they also do a lovely range of embroidery kits lots of animals um, some flowers some sort of uh, contemporary flowers and uh, seed heads and they've just bought out a range of I don't know if you can see that so a lady in a yoga pose uh, they also do a, a cycling one any cyclists that you may know. Uh, we also have these lovely little kits, they're great for kids, they are pre-cut, they have the holes punched in them and they are great for learning to sew. They come in at just over three pounds each, 3 15 got lots of different Christmas ones but we've also got non-Christmassy ones as well. Uh, that's another uh, a different make that comes in at 6 50 That requires a few more skills because you have to cut out the pattern yourself and then the, the holes aren't there so that's sort of the next stage up but they are slightly bigger um, also looking at kids making a start into cross stitch we've got a few of these different designs that's just one design um, that is a tapestry actually so that's with a thicker thicker yarn with a, a wool um, for the more advanced we have some beautiful um, cross stitch kits these are just a couple of examples we've also got animal based ones floral based ones all kinds they come in at about 35 pounds right this is another advent calendar kit uh, this is where you provide your own backing panel um, that's a ribbon with all the numbers written on it and you can sew that onto a backing panel to make little pockets. Uh, this is a kit um, that comes with everything with it and that is that one is 690 just the ribbons are 360 so it depends if you've got some fabric from your own stash that you can use. 
right moving on um cutting <laughs> so if you've never ever used a cutting board uh this is uh, the smallest one that we stock it is 14.95 we also go up to the extra large ones that we use ourselves on the counter uh, even if you don't use a rotary cutter they're really useful because they've got all the lines on them and you can follow lines if you do fancy switching to a rotary cutter or complementing it with your scissors then obviously we have a, a number of different rotary cutters in stock uh, different sizes 60 mil 45 mil different brands as well so they come in at from sort of 14 pounds up to about 18 20 pounds also on the cutting theme it's nothing like a lovely pair of sharp scissors uh, I have Fiskars at home we use Fiskars uh, here in the shop uh, I must have had mine about 25 years I think I've sharpened them once not so good but <laughs> we sharpen the ones in the shop regularly uh, they're just going to last you a lifetime they're about 32 pounds well worth the investment uh, Fiskars also do some lovely um, these are soft handled ones they're called razor edge they are equally lovely to the dressmaking ones they also do a larger tailor scissor as well which is about 35 36 pounds uh, we've got a couple of those in stock too um, they also do an amplify range, so if you uh, have weaker hands through arthritis, age, whatever, <laughs> or you're just cutting thicker fabrics, these amplify scissors that you don't have to push so hard, you don't have to squeeze so hard, uh, they're really lovely to use. We've actually opened a pair to use to try out in the shop. Uh, another of my favourites are these uh, little uh, spring-loaded plier type scissors, so if you're cutting uh, around corners or your um, yeah, cutting notches so that you can create curves in your seams or cutting off corners these are fantastic they're really really sharp and you can get right close to your stitching without risk uh, the scissors slipping uh, another useful tool to have in your armory or sewing armory is some thread snips they're just like little pincers, 2 95 great stocking filler, or little embroidery scissors, just for cutting off those threads and those tiny little ends. Okay, a couple of others of my favourite gadgets. Point turner. If you're making bunting, if you're doing collars, doing bags, anything where you're going to have to turn uh, points out. <laughs> okay, this is really good. It just gets right into the corners and you can get, make nice, sharp uh, points. A couple of other little fun things for sewers. We've got sewing-themed uh, nail files. Uh, a sewing-themed mug. It's got a tape measure. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a tape measure on the handle. That's quite fun. We've got some lovely uh, pin cushions. We've got bees, we've got a more traditional uh, vintage sewing theme, and we've also got those in our sewing baskets as well. Uh, this is a great little gadget, a sewing gauge. Um, you can pull it out to measure where your buttons go. It's just a really useful item to have. A couple of other things for cutting and sewing. Uh, this is a rotary cutting mat, so you can put it on your table and if you're cutting lots of quilting things, so it's more for the quilters, uh, you don't have to keep turning your fabric, you can just spin the board and cut. And finally, this one, it, it's called a quilter's mat. Um, we've sold it for people who um, go on holiday, uh, in their motorhomes, just taking stuff on holiday. It's a really useful mat. It opens up, you can keep all your stuff inside. It's like a board you can work on on your lap. Uh, you can keep all your projects inside as well. And it's got a little mini cutting board on there too. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm plowing through. Some other sewing related things that you might want to treat yourself to or put on your Christmas wish list. Something that we certainly didn't realise that we needed but now we have them. Uh, they are uh, indispensable. Okay, 
my number one is this little mini iron. Uh, it's very ergonomic to use, it has a, has a handle on the top. Uh, it's a little steam iron, but you can turn the steam off. But it's great for ironing out little uh, points, small projects, great for doing bunting and little crafty projects, but also great for dressmaking for sleeves, things like that. And that's £34. To complement that is a dressmaker's ham, uh, and it's for pressing out awkward little areas. Another ironing related thing is a clapper, uh, and you can use it to press out smaller areas like collars and cuffs and lapels. Okay, and also another useful thing is a mini ironing board. Uh, we just have ours set up on the tabletop here, but if you're travelling, it's great to take on, on holiday, in the camper van, whatever you're doing, or just have it set up in your ironing, um, in your sewing room, uh, or your sewing area, so you don't have to get a big old ironing board out all the time. Right, ploughing through. Um, just got a few little bits to show you. Oh, a little French knitting bee, that's another useful one for the kids. Um, it's quite fun to do, I don't know if you remember doing that back in the 70s. Sewing baskets. We have uh, lots of different sewing baskets. I've just got a couple here. Um, they're really lovely, they're beautifully finished. They ha all have a tray inside for little gadgety bits and then they're big enough to get scissors and all sorts of bits and pieces in there. Most of them have a pin cushion, a little pocket in the lid. So that, that one comes in at £30. They start at about £25 for slightly smaller and they go up to about um, £45 for the really big ones. Uh, one of my favourite is this big one. It's a, a bee themed. It's got a, a bee embroidery scene on the front. Again, it's a lovely big basket with a pin cushion. It's got the lift out tray and it's got lots of space inside there. That one comes in at £45. Okay, we also have um, stand-up bags. Uh, I will demonstrate those in the knitting and crochet one. Right, last thing is books. I've just got a few of the books that we've got here. Um, we've got lots of different ones, but these are uh, just to uh, give you a general idea of what we've got in stock. So a kid's guide to sewing. It's got um, lots of different projects to do, different techniques. You've got a plique. Um, sewing clothes, bit of quilting. Um, another one, sewing for the absolute beginner. There's a few home crafty projects in there, cushions, oven gloves, um, little lavender hearts, apron. Okay. Uh, these are proving quite popular. They are sewing journals. So we've got two different ones. All my sewing shed and uh, a really lovely picture of a vintage sewing machine on this one. <laughs> okay, they're both the same inside. They just uh, detail um, your project, your fabrics, what pattern you use. It's a really useful thing to do um, rather than scrolling over the pattern, which is what I usually do, just to make notes about what, how it fitted and what I needed to do to uh, make it fit differently. Um, this is rather an ironic title joyful mending um, they're trying to make it joyful uh, these have got different techniques for um, mending clothes I don't know if you've seen I, I post them up occasionally on uh, my Facebook page uh, there's mostly sort of Japanese different ideas and techniques for um, mending like mending holes by doing embroidery flowers and things like that okay uh, a lot of you know that we sell fat quarters, so these are some books to go with it. So we've got fat quarter toys. Uh, we've also got a few Debbie Shaw ones as well, um, which have lots of different ideas in them. They're really uh, good books. They're really good instructions in those. Uh, if anybody wants to try something different, but a freehand, free motion embroidery or freehand machine embroidery. And we also have the, the um, machine embroidery threads, lots to, to choose from. There's some really lovely projects in here. Um, little napkins. Um, I'm just trying to find a nice picture. Um, and sort of seaside related uh, themes as well. So we've got some beachy bunting, 
uh, to do. Uh, we also have uh, Lunar Lapin. So we've got the original Lunar Lapin, um, which is to make the bunny and just, uh, all her clothing, her beautiful clothing. And then we've got her two um, ones to make her friends. Uh, we've also got a few scraps of fabric, uh, tweed fabrics and cottons that you can use to uh, make her clothes. Right, a couple of uh, popular pattern designers, uh, Tilly and the Buttons. Oh, they're both Tilly and the Buttons actually, sorry. <laughs> uh, one is Stretch, so if you're thinking about making something in Jersey, that's a really good one to have. You get um, some patterns with this, so it's a dress, um, a skirt, and a few other bits and bobs. Sorry, I should have looked at that first, but that's a really lovely book. And then this one is more for the beginner. It's got some beginner projects in there, dungarees, pinafore dresses, uh, and that too comes with some patterns. So they are both £25, I believe, so that's pretty good value because you get several patterns with that as well. Uh, this is a new one that's just come in, so eco-friendly. Got a few home projects for that. Uh, little face uh, uh, scrubby things, bags, beeswax wraps, all kind of things like that. And finally, uh, it's a beautiful book from Liberty, uh, and it's about a bit about the history of Liberty fabrics. Uh, and it, it's a it's a sealed book, so it's a beautiful present. That is twenty nine ninety nine, and it gives you a bit of the history about the fabrics and all the different designs that they do. Okay, so that's just an idea of some of the things that we have here in the shop. If you wanted to start a wish list, we can put your name in the book and a list of the things that you uh, would like to put on your wish list and then if you send in your nearest and dearest and they quote your name and say the wish list we can have a look through and they can buy exactly what you would like uh, the other th one final thing is um, if there's nothing here that really floats your boat at the moment we always do gift vouchers so they can be used against our one-to-one our -one, uh, sessions in sewing, knitting or crochet or against any any purchase okay so fabrics, patterns, anything you like and they can be any value from £5 upwards so that's it for me I'm going to wrap up hope you have a lovely lovely Christmas and uh, see you in the shop soon bye <laughs>